Hey everybody, Mike here, Rich Mike. We are back, you can't even tell, but that is the S55 AMG. We got a package, it didn't look like this when I got it, but what was inside, I hope we'll get this old girl back on the road. Yep, there she is in all of her glory. That's the old package. What lies beneath, I'm hoping, will help me get this car back on the road. There it is. I have done the unthinkable. I am throwing all kinds of parts at this car, and I'm just hoping some of them just kind of stick. Yep, that is your front SAM unit on the right side, okay? And I bought this because I, for the life of me, cannot get the radiator fan to come on. I've replaced the uh, temperature sensor right here. I've already replaced it with another SAM, okay? That didn't work. I've done everything I can. I've uh, connected this to uh, my battery. It comes on, so something is not sending the signal that that fan needs to turn on. And I'm thinking maybe it's something internally, like in through here. I've replaced, replaced all the relays, but something isn't talking to something else and the fan's not coming on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this yet again. This is your front uh, fuse box. The SAM is attached beneath. It is easy to do. Take a picture of all the fuses, make sure they all go back just the same. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, even one that's been beat up a little bit, that the fan will finally come on because I gotta get this car out on the road. I wanna compare this S55 AMG with that S600. Not the Junker S500, the lovely S600. We're gonna compare these two cars. They're similar, yet they are different. That was record time. Yeah, it's amazing how fast you can replace these when you've done it five or six or 27 times. Yep, this is the old. This, I think, I'm hoping, is the problem. Remember, if you've been with the channel, you know that this car sat outside for a long, long time without a front clip. This wasn't here. The hood wasn't there. The other fender, the bumpers, the headlights, nothing was here except for the frame of the car and the engine and all the accoutrements that go right here. So this thing was kind of exposed because I don't, if I remember right, I don't think it had, maybe it did have the coffin top, I don't know. But anyway, this looks horrible. This is really terrible. So what we're gonna do is reattach the battery, give her a start, turn on the air conditioner because that should signal the fan to come on. You wanna do that? You wanna hang around and see what's happening with that? Let's do it, we're gonna give it a little Hail Mary, full of grace, you know what I say next, blah, 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 and you are going to start. What do you think, Legend? Is it going to work? Is it going to work or no? Yep, I think it's going to work. I do have to apologize for the condition of these cars. Look at all this. Yeah, the pollen is out in full force, and whatever kind of a tree that is right there. That thing, it dumps sap in the summer, pollen, and these horrible little seed things in the spring. In the winter, it, I get a dump of other junk. So I get dumped on three times a year, thanks to my neighbor's tree, but that's okay. I'm not gonna gripe. Okay, here we go, you ready? Once again, please let the radiator fan work. Please, please, please. I don't hear it. I don't hear it. Dag nabbit. Please come on. Please turn on. Ah! You need to spin. 
one way or another. Something else I want to address today, in addition to that mess, which I tried to shave her a little bit, make her pretty, I did a horrible job, is this. Take a look at my bumper. It's got a chunk missing out of that. We're missing the cover. And we got another chunk missing out of this one, okay? We're trying to get this car looking as good as we possibly can. And look what I found. <gasps> Look at that. Don't pay attention to Janice. Pay attention to this right there. That is another bumper. And some people are going to say, oh, it's got to be the SAMG blah, 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 blah bumper. Well, I couldn't find one. This car is lucky to be alive. So we're going to put an S500 bumper on this girl and she's going to be happy. I think that's an S500 bumper anyway. So I don't know what's going on with this car. It's got a crazy history, crazy past, but we're going to get rid of the old bumper and we're going to put on the new one and it is very very simple to do just a couple of bolts and a clip and boom just like that it is all attached all right to accomplish this feat we have to kind of remove some of the side panels right here we have two 10 millimeter bolts they kind of live right up through here that attach the bumper one is here and one is here um, we have two more over on this side kind of underneath this piece right here we have a clip which holds this bit together it's right here okay it's the typical mercedes i can even feel it right there okay so it's a little screw goes into that wire that metal plate and it connects this so we have that bolt bolt on both sides and then for some reason mercedes decided to put a 10 millimeter bolt here and a 10 millimeter bolt here which is very fun to get to let me tell you it is just so much fun to get to so we will remove those and put on the new bumper. Here's what it looks like with the trim kind of pushed out of the way. There's one of your bolts. Oops, sorry. One of the bolts right here and the other one is about five or six inches right in front of her. Okay, so bolt, bolt, and then same thing on the other side right there. Very quickly, there are your two 10 mils on the right side right there, right above the battery. Yep, those two have to come off. That is a scary crow. Wow. Okay, so two more. This one right here has to come off. Okay, this is right next to the tail light, and there's one on the other side. So we'll take this one off. We'll move the other one. There's two on. Okay, you just sit right there. You just sit right there. The other guy, I'm sorry if the camera's so close, but right there. Right there. There he is, right there. Okay, in fact, let's back it up. Why are we so close? Okay, this guy comes off. And you were already loose. Ha! Ah! Okay, so someone's been in here before. And you can sit right there. And then we go underneath. And there are two ugh, 10 millimeter bolts right here. See that one? Yep, right here and on the other side. So we'll get those off as Lola completely interrupts what we're trying to do all right we'll be back well doggy yeah we had to take it apart that whole trunk had to come apart yep i got the plastic trim piece here disconnected i had to remove this because these two bolts see the bolt right there there's another one on that side these things are so much fun to get off and that one this one still isn't even off yet dead gummit hold on okay this little bolt was so much fun to get off all right, but with that, all we got to do is give it a pull. You want to see? Here we go. Well, it's supposed to come off. There we go. Yep. Let go. Yep, there it is. Okay, now before I ruin anything, I want to disconnect this. It's proof. Yep, someone's been in here. This wasn't even connected. This was not even connected. Okay, but with that, we can now finally, finally remove this effing bumper. Look at that. There it is. Let's take us a thumbnail picture, make it look pretty. And then we'll clean this up and put the new one on, or the new to us on. Well, what I thought was going to be an easy endeavor 
was a little more difficult, but the results are spectacular. Okay, the difference in an AMG bumper and a regular bumper lie right here. There's two little cutouts for your super fancy exhaust, okay? The S500 bumper did not have it, so I had to trim a little bit, but it looks great. It looks fantastic, okay? It's not gonna do any damage, it looks just the same. And I gotta tell you, having a bumper that doesn't have holes and a little cover right there makes a huge difference. Look at that, it looks gorgeous. It is gorgeous. It's as gorgeous as you, Legend, laying out there in the grass after digging hole after hole after hole. Yep. So we'll put this all back together and give you a final look. There it is. Underneath all the pollen and the crap dropping from the tree is the new bumper, which looks fantabulous, don't you think? I love it. I really, really like it. This old car, I've had her for a while. Other than the valve springs and the almost overheating because there's no coolant, fan. She's a good car. That's kind of a good dog on the same basis. Yes, AMG S55. And we have taken another step to comparing this car to that one. And that, my friends, brings us to another close of another video. Sorry about all the pollen right there. That is horrible. So what do you think? What's the problem? Why can I not get this radiator fan to turn? Yep, nothing can turn it on except you out there, if you happen to know what the reason is. Uh, we've tried everything, okay? We know that the fan works. We do know that um, it's not the uh, engine temperature coolant sender thing. We know it's not the uh, relay module. We know it's not the actual fan. All of that stuff works, but something isn't talking to each other. We replaced even the SAM. Yeah, that was even in the video right here. And of course, all of the regular relays in the SAM. Nothing can get this radiator fan to turn. So if you have any ideas, please let me know. What do you think? You like the progress that we're making here on the S55 AMG? Do you like the progress that we're making on the channel as well? Yep, we're up lots and lots of subscribers. And that's a good thing, folks. All right, we're gonna go and make another video so you have something else to watch very, very soon. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Don't forget, I got those Monkey Wrench Mike stickers. I still have a bunch of them. They're the round ones. It is uh, Cash App, Ben's Guy 99. Yep, Ben's Guy 99, $3, and I'll send one to you. And of course, they have all kinds of uh, merchandise on teespring.com. That information is below. Check out the Instagram, the Facebook, and of course, right here on YouTube. We'll see you again. Bye.